hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and if you're returning hello how's it going how are you we are in a new year okay it's the second day of the year and we're just about to hit the ground running okay i'm back i took a little bit of a break just because it was my birthday then christmas then new year's you know it was a lot going on it, it, it was a lot but i'm back and it's a new year and it's a new me and it's a new world okay this is the old willow creek i think this is the foundry cove area of willow creek because if you don't know which you should because if you follow me on twitter then you would know which i recommend all of you guys follow me on twitter because that's why i post all of my updates like if i'm working on something or whatever it's on twitter so follow me on twitter it's at jazz raddits okay on twitter and it's also that's my instagram as well but i don't post anything sims related on instagram it's just my face over there but yeah follow me on twitter so you guys can figure out what i'm doing over there i'm not calling the x it's called twitter um also i am on black coffee and c4 right now i am wired so this is gonna be a very chatty video i'm just wondering it's gonna be a very chatty video okay i feel like i could build a house with my bare hands right now that that's how hyped up i am but anywho so if you guys follow me on twitter i did post this and i did mention that i'm redoing all the worlds from scratch like every single sims 4 world i'm redoing them and that is my goal like that's my goal in the game i'm not playing the game until all of my worlds are complete done redone all that and i did use the blowtorch mod to um pretty much get rid of all of ea's deco and yeah the blowtorch mod just empties out all of your worlds it does keep the landscaping though um which is a little bit like mm, it's okay but it's also a little bit annoying because then i have like things like this where there's a tree coming out of my deco gas station but that's because i cannot delete the trees like i i can't physically do that they're just kind of like wired into the the game i guess but yeah so yeah i use the blowtorch mod and i use the tool mod to add all of my own deco houses which some of these are the deco houses that my brother made um on his patreon scodiote okay go over there and get you some deco stuff because there's gonna be a lot more deco stuff that he's making this year so that's gonna be exciting because i kind of need that to like rebuild all these worlds like i need deco buildings but um i'm also using ea's deco uh buildings as well um and they kind of fit in so like i said this is willow creek and all of the worlds are gonna be you know my style that whole woody suburban um houston texas theme like that's gonna be what all my worlds are there's also a deco walmart in the back it's kind of like just sitting back there um and i don't know it just, it just adds to to the suburbanness of the world we got the taco bell here we have the gas station and then we have the neighborhood sign which is right here oh if you haven't noticed like this video is just gonna be like me like showing you like what i'm working on it's just gonna be like a tour of everything that i'm working on and i'm also gonna be showing you guys some stuff that like i kind of abandoned like we're gonna go through and look at the mall we're gonna go through and look at that mansion that i had posted also on my twitter um yeah so this is pretty much gonna be a chill video because i feel like i need to put back like a chill update talky video before we hop into the nitty gritty because i'm still doing my apartment um series that i talked about and and some other things like i really want to come on here more and that is my goal so that's what we're doing but yeah so here's a little tour that's a house that i made these are not the permanent houses that are going to be in this neighborhood i kind of just needed to put some homes down to map out um everything you know see like an overview but yeah these are like just homes that were in my gallery that i worked on a while ago like this old house right here that's in the corner this is the house that had that like at home daycare these two homes are the homes that are from my um small neighborhood that i posted and this is just a random house that i just built real quick because i needed to put something right here and you know i needed to fill up the street and that's just a deco house right there um and on this side these are actually all deco houses down here which is if you know how willow creek used to look at first then you know that it looks a lot different and i love it it just looks so cozy you guys know how i love like the trees and everything and the cars filling the streets so this is how that looks i'm obsessed 
and i did place everything with tool mod which my next video will be a detailed video on how to use tool trust me that is coming but i want it to be like a detailed video so please please mark your calendars when i post that which i should be posting that thursday because it's pretty much already done i just need to edit it so i should post that thursday and it's gonna be a very detailed video on how i use tool but um yeah i placed everything using the tool my literally everything even this bus right here but not this little girl is this a little girl i don't know who that is riding a bike she's just kind of doing it on her own but yeah so this is the world let me kind of you know move around a little bit faster i love how it looks like i'm obsessed with how it looks i know a lot of you were like is your game slowing down is it like lagging because of all this stuff you have and as you can see it's not because i have a gaming laptop and my specs are pretty good um i have 32 gigabytes of ram i have a graphics card i don't know a graphics card like the exact one i have i know it's a nvidia geforce uh, gtx graphics card but i just don't know the exact one and i have two terabytes of um space and yeah so my my game runs really really smooth it runs fine but yeah, so this is pretty much what we got going on. I am gonna add like stuff to the backyards. Even of these decor homes, I'm gonna add like stuff to the backyards. I'm gonna add stuff to the front yard, like maybe a basketball goal, like a swing, just stuff that like your Sims can, you know, walk around a neighborhood, pretend like they're going to like their neighbor's houses and swing and playing basketball. I just want this world to be very interactive. Um, and this will be going on my Patreon in a save file but it's gonna be a while i'm not gonna lie like it's this isn't gonna be something that's gonna be available anytime soon because as you guys know building worlds that that takes a minute and then i also need like a lot more deco buildings and things to put in the world but yeah so it's gonna take a while but i'm gonna like take you guys along with me of course like you're gonna be here for all the updates trust me trust me um what else was i about to say I'm, so, I'm just like just rambling like my, my brain is just so just all over the place right now um but with the blowtorch mod it does make the world incredibly dark because it gets rid of like all the lighting that ea had so i had to place these lights in here myself and i'll show you guys how it looks at night it's still pretty dark um i do need to add more lights i, I need to add a light in every you know backyard of the deco homes and just make it look a little bit brighter because it is pitch black when it comes nighttime but speaking of lighting uh, i am using the sun blind lighting mod by softer haze but the blowtorch mod comes with that mod so if you get the blowtorch mod and blowtorch all of your um worlds and you want to build your own world from scratch then that mod that lighting mod comes with that blowtorch mod if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but it comes with it um, so yeah, let me just show you guys how it looks at night because it is super dark. Okay, it's actually not as dark as I thought it was going to be because I do have these like light up marquee signs right here, but the gas station, super dark. Um, I did go through and add all of these street lights that you see so that it won't be as dark. You know what? I think I was, think I was like exaggerating a little bit. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. It's, it's pretty lit up it's pretty lit up i think i am still gonna maybe add like porch lights to these deco homes because i don't know i feel like maybe it will be a little bit brighter like in real life i feel like when you walk through a neighborhood at night it's not as dark like most houses i mean of course these homes have like porch lights and stuff because i built those but like down here with these deco houses i don't know if um if it's bright enough but i think i did a pretty good job with adding these lights so never mind i think it's fine yeah i think it's fine let me also show you guys how the sun blind lighting mod looks when it's morning because that's kind of like the whole point of the mod it's like the way it looks in the morning so let me show you so this is how that lighting mod looks in the morning it's very pretty honestly like it's very pretty at first i didn't know how i felt about it because i'm a twinkle toes lighting mod type of girl like that's my favorite lighting mod but this one is like actually growing on me like i think it looks really pretty i think yeah i think it looks really pretty 
so this is how the lighting mod looks um if you want this lighting mod then like i said it's sunblind by softer haze but yeah so that's that but other than that i'm really obsessed with how the world looks so far and this is just a little part of willow creek like obviously you guys know willow creek is pretty big so this is just one little area i haven't even done the other areas yet but um just look at the backyards y'all like it's so cute i didn't place anything over here as you can see because there's just like heels and it's kind of like ea didn't really develop this part really it's just like kind of 2d graphic heels kind of like the same thing over here as you can see it's not really developed over there um so i'm not gonna post or post i'm not gonna put anything over there i'm just gonna leave that alone um but yeah so this is how the world is looking so far i am gonna show you the other world that i did and the other ones that i'm working on um i haven't started in like san manchuno or anything san manchuno look crazy like it deleted all of the city buildings it looked crazy i'll actually show you guys that it looks insane there's like nothing there but uh, i am working on brychester because i kind of wanted brychester to look like a just normal city that so happens to have a university just kind of how like houston has university of houston but is still in houston so there's like neighborhoods and stuff around i didn't really like the idea of a small town college like i just was not feeling that so i'm gonna show you what i'm doing over there so we are in brychester i think i'm saying that right yeah brychester that is where we are now and i also showed a sneak peek of this on my twitter as well i'm showing twitter everything okay y'all y'all gotta get with it y'all gotta go to my twitter but this is what it's looking like so far i just did the um foxberry side um so far and i just put like a little middle school not middle school what a little primary school so elementary school right here this is also deco and then you drive down here and it's like a little tiny neighborhood of houses kind of like what i had in willow creek um a lot of these houses are probably going to change like a lot of stuff is probably going to change because my brother is working on more deco homes so i'm not using the same deco homes over and over and over because there's not that many so this look is probably going to change but i'm just mapping it out to see how it looks now and and this is a lot that i'm gonna build on as you see it's like stuff there because i was using that stuff to um place the deco houses like i was using that but yeah so this is how it looks and i love it like i love how it looks love love how it's coming out i think i'm gonna like obviously add some more things over here put some more deco stuff there this is a lot that i can build on so i'm not sure what i'm gonna build right here probably something related to the university because it's still a university here and like i stated i just want it to be like it's a regular city a regular neighborhood that just so happens to have a university right there but that's what it's looking like so far and it's other things down here that i'm gonna have to place i'm gonna place something here all throughout here like this this is gonna look nice when i'm done it's gonna look nice but as you can see um the deco i mean not the deco the blowtorch mod got rid of everything like it just gets rid of everything so i'm having to place everything back the way that i wanted to um i know a lot of people probably don't like the suburban style um that i be doing but it's my game and that's what i like so if you want to do something else then go ahead and go get the mod yourself and yeah build it however you want okay now we're in san sequoia um this is actually where the apartments used to be ignore this um this is like an old shopping center that i was working on i kind of just want to place it to see if i wanted to put a shopping center here instead of a um, apartments and i'm still not sure but just ignore that like that's not even done um but yeah see it got rid of the bridge it got rid of everything like this is a completely empty world besides like the houses that i built and stuff like the townhomes are like over here um but i did place a whataburger and a wendy's over here i think i'm gonna keep it i think i like the way it looks so i'm gonna keep the whataburger and wendy's there but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for these surrounding areas if you guys want to give me ideas that's fine they're most likely not going to be houses because it's concrete here so i'm not going to put like any houses here um this is going to be like the running errands part of the world so i might add like a deco 
I don't know, Chili's, um, shopping centers, like just more commercial buildings to this side. And then when we go over here, that will be all like the homes and everything. But that's pretty much what I've been working on. Like this entire time when I haven't been posting, I have been working on mapping out how I'm gonna do these worlds. And I'm so excited. Like I'm so excited to start on this. And then when we get to the finished product, like y'all, it's gonna look so good. I'm very excited. But let me show you how San Machino looks. Cause that's gonna be, that's gonna be one that takes me a while. So y'all look at San Machino. Absolutely nothing it still has like the the pole like wire lines i guess from where the um telephone poles were but other than that it's empty it was very city light and now it's just empty um clearly those brown stones are still right there but just look how empty it is so i gotta go back and put everything here i'm still gonna make san machuna like a city type world most likely um obviously because it has like all those apartments and stuff here so i'm gonna make this still a city world but yeah y'all it's empty i have to go through and put stuff here but i'm excited i'm ready for the challenge so it's cool it's fine like i'm ready i might put like some big like freeway signs and stuff so it's gonna be a fun little project but pretty much every world is blowtorched every world is empty all the ek ek what all the ea deco is gone so um almost everywhere looks like this but like i said it's gonna be a fun project i'm gonna bring y'all along with me we're gonna do this together and i'm excited i can't wait <laughs> so now we're in copperdale where the high school used to be and as you can see it kind of got rid of like all the stuff that was here and like the football um field stuff which i'm gonna add back because i definitely want to make another high school i know i made one already but I made that a while ago and there's some things that I could have done differently and I want to redo the high school because that was fun and I love doing school so yeah I'm going to redo a high school I'm going to add like the football stuff back but I'm going to put like more bleachers and just make it look better so I am kind of glad that that's gone and like all that other crap like that bus and stuff like it was ugly I'm glad all that is gone the only thing that I wish is that we could get rid of these trees because I would love to put like a little neighborhood right here. Like across from the school. I think that would be so nice. I would love to do that. But I can't because all these trees are in the way. I could probably try to like finesse it a little bit. But I don't know. Like these are a lot of trees. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that. But see I can even go down here. It's like so many trees. Just so many trees so yeah i could probably put something here though i don't know i'm gonna figure it out i don't know how i want to map out this world but i love the idea of a school being in a neighborhood so i would love to put like homes and stuff here but let me know let me know what y'all think about that um but yeah i'm excited like i'm so excited i want to start working on the school right now but i have so many things to work on that i just i can't i can't do that to myself but trust a better high school will be coming soon trust trust that okay so now we have moved on to the let's show all of jasmine's unfinished bills portion of this video so this is the mansion i was talking about um it's kind of like a tuscan style mansion on the inside not the outside the outside is still a mansion but it's more of like your kingwood suburban area of the woodlands type mansion this is not a river oaks type mansion if you're from houston you know exactly what i'm talking about like yeah you know what i'm talking about um but yeah like your fall creek type mansion <laughs> but um yeah so this is how it looks on the outside really like how it looks my initial thing was when i first started working on it was to have it done by christmas obviously that didn't happen because i wanted to like decorate it and have it very like you know those houses that go all out on christmas that was what i initially wanted but that did not happen but let me show you what we got going on on the inside like i said it is like early 2000s tuscan style so let's just let me show you so this is what it's looking like on the inside it's not finished at all like whatsoever but 
this is how it looks it was coming along great i kind of just stopped working on it and started working on other stuff because that's what i do um but yeah so y'all see the vision okay like it, it really is giving like early 2000s to ooh, it really is giving early 2000s tuscan style home and i do want to finish it eventually but i have like a million different things going on so i don't know when this will be finished but it will be um and it does have like a little bar area too like this was supposed to be the bar area of the house um you see the house has its own little bar this is the dining room um let me show you the kitchen i don't really like the kitchen that much i'm most likely gonna change the kitchen um but this is how the kitchen is looking and we have the backyard back there with the pool so it's really cute um and also if you look in the i'm on the curtains also if you look in the backyard this house has a garage apartment like i wanted this house to have a garage apartment which just means it's like a little livable space above the garage that they can like use for air and beer air b airbnb or something and it's not done obviously i just kind of have it mapped out a little bit to how i wanted it to be so this is what it looks like just a little small garage apartment really tiny i just had a furniture in here to map out where everything was gonna go but yeah that that on that and that is the this was gonna be the tv room and this is kind of like where i stopped because i was just getting really annoyed with uh decorating this area so i kind of just stopped with that and nothing else and this house is done except for this like floor but yeah so this is one of my unfinished bills and it is located i don't know if i said did i say san machino i hope i didn't this is located in san sequoia um the world that i had showed you guys earlier obviously and if you look everything is still empty besides oh i did place some like deco homes over here i don't know what i was doing i'm definitely gonna delete them but i did place some like homes over here um yeah i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with this world i haven't thought about it because it's a lot more oddly placed trees than you know the other worlds but yeah so that's the mansion and let's look at some more of my unfinished bills. So this is a small town that I actually built, was it a ye two years ago? I think 2022 is when I built this. Ignore that weather machine, cause I made it snow here because I initially was decorating this for Christmas as well. And it kind of just fizzled out while I just stopped working on it but I'm going to show you the house that I was working on it was supposed to be like a nostalgic Christmas home kind of like your house in the 90s or 80s or like your grandma's house that was like my theme for this home and I'm just going to show you what I did so far even though Christmas is over but this is how it looks when you first walk in we have the decorated stairs um cat sleeping y'all know i love to put cats in the house because i love cats um this is how it looks very cozy have the laundry room here um dining room here and this is the kitchen and living room area so like i said i had to decorate it for christmas um sleeping bags on the floor waiting for santa very cozy very nostalgic that was the theme for this and i did not finish it but i do like the way it looks it's cute the kitchen is very cute like look at the gingerbread houses like look at this this is cute like i i love the way it was coming out but i just didn't finish it that was that was kind of it and christmas came and went so i would have to take down all these christmas decorations but i feel like the christmas decorations like made the house like i don't know uh i'm not sure if i finish the other parts of the house honestly let's go see um it's a hallway it's a bathroom 
this was supposed to be the main bedroom um i guess i kind of did finish the bedroom uh -huh. and this is the bathroom and i know y'all probably like why is there carpet in the bathroom but listen this was supposed to be like a 90s 80s style home so that's why there's carpet in the bathroom because homes had that which i kind of oddly like for some reason um let's go upstairs and see what i had going on up here um this was just like an open area i think i was gonna make it like a kids the kids play area or like the computer room not computer room but like just the family area. i don't know i really don't know what plans i have for this area but um here's one of the kids bedrooms like i said i was going for the whole nostalgic 80s 90s kid bedroom and they had their own bathroom here that's that um and this was supposed to be the baby's bedroom um yeah i just kind of like stopped working on it i think i got like i be getting bored sometimes with bills so i'll like just stop working on them it's another bedroom i love how you can like see the view of the store from here i really love this little build um this build is up on my patreon too it's been on there for a while it's public like it's it's been on my patreon for like over a year now so you can still go grab this um build but it's just not decorated because um there are, all the houses are empty and i did change that floor plan around so the floor plan is going to be a lot different when you download it um but yeah this is a build i mean it's finished like it's on my patreon i just wanted to start decorating it and i never did but yeah if you want to see like the full tour of this build and just scroll on my channel it's on my channel i think it's like small town build or something if you want to see like all the houses in the diner and the video store and everything so i think it's pretty cool but let's go check out that mall that i have been avoiding and that i haven't touched in forever let's go check that out okay so we are in henford on bagley just because i needed to place this mall somewhere and what better place to place a mall than in the middle of nowhere but um this is not going to be where the mall is obviously but i just need to place it to show you guys what i've done which is pretty much not that much if we're being honest like me and this mall have a very hate love relationship it's kind of like a toxic relationship or like a relationship that you think that they're your twin flame but they're not it's like i keep coming back to you because i feel like i should work this out and i feel like we're meant to be together but it's just not good for me right now like i need to go and work on myself i need to go work on other things like that that's the relationship i have with this mom but um let me show you what i've done um it's kind of chaotic but this is what the mall was looking like um i put like a little cell phone booth here ignore some of this like random stuff that's in there because i was like just placing stuff you know you're building like if you build then you know what this room is it's like stuff that you place that you don't want to look for later and you just place it in there but anyways um yeah this is like the little cell phone stand the great american cookie stand cinnabon we have some middle of the mall carts because you know in the middle of the mall they got them middle of the mall carts um but yeah that's pretty much what's going on on the first floor so i did do a little something i did a little bit like i put like the sitting area over here like we did a little bit of something but i have not returned back to this build in a minute and i don't know if i well obviously i will i will like finish this mall one day but i just don't know when it will be because i have a million other things going on but i did for the most part complete the third floor kind of like for the most part um i think i showed this before i showed the food court area which is done um yeah the food court area is pretty much done here and the starbucks and stuff is done as well um yeah the starbucks is done the h m is not done i have a lot to, a lot of stuff to do in the h m but yeah that's pretty much what's going on with this mall 
it's a lot to do and i know a lot of you guys want this mall so bad but it's like if you start building like a bill like for some reason high schools are really big bills like schools in general but i can finish those like those are like really easy but when it comes to malls like everything's different like i have to get all of the cc for hot topic all the cc for hollister all the cc for like just the different stores in a mall it's a lot it's like a lot that goes into it because it's not just me working on it like i have to like you know have my brother make the cc for me so it's it's a huge project it's not like something simple because that's a lot of stuff to do um but yeah anywho <laughs> just wanted to show you guys the mall i think that's pretty much it for all of my like unfinished bills that like i didn't finish i don't have that many unfinished bills well, I do, but they're not, like, worth showing, honestly. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So, this video was definitely all over the place, but it's okay. Because I'm all over the place, and I feel like most of us are. So, we're starting off the year with honesty, which is great. But, like I said, my next video will be a video of me showing you guys how to use tool and how to place things off lot and just, like, how to work the decimals and everything because a lot of people tell me that when they use tool things disappear and they don't know what they're doing so i'm going to show y'all like the very simple easy way on how to do it and after that trust me y'all gonna be a pro y'all gonna be putting stuff off a lot y'all gonna be a pro at it so that will be my next video also the apartment video will be happening um where i'm decorating like an apartment and we're gonna keep going till all those apartments are decorated um if you haven't seen the apartments i'm talking about i think it's my last video of my apartment complex there's 40 units there so there's 40 apartments that we have to decorate so that will definitely be coming um also i'm going to be doing like more challenges and stuff like a lot of you guys are giving me like really cool ideas somebody mentioned that i should like go in the gallery or like have somebody submit a bill to me and i like redo it or remodel it or decorate it um i'm not gonna go in the gallery and pick people's bills to like redecorate because i don't know i feel like that's kind of mean so i wouldn't do that so i would only do that if somebody asked me to or like send me their bill and be like hey redo my bill like redecorate it or whatever make it look better um that's the only way i would do that but i kind of like want to do a challenge where i'm like going through and i'm redecorating um ea's bills and but only doing them with cc like trying to like use you know just replace everything with cc but keep the actual shell of the bill like i can change everything like the furniture and stuff but i can't delete the walls i can't like you know add anything i kind of think that would be cool as well um i'm gonna be showing you guys the progress this is a bird Oh, it is i'm going to be showing you guys the progress of me doing all of these worlds as well so that's another thing so it's a lot of content that i've been like writing down and that i've been getting ideas from you guys can definitely leave more suggestions of things you want to see me do on this channel just as long as it's not a speed build because i don't think i'll ever be like a speed build type of channel like i i just i don't know i just don't see it but i don't mind coming on here and like talking as i like do things i don't mind doing that but just no speed bills but yeah so leave like some suggestions of things you guys want to see me doing because my goal for 2024 is to come on this channel a lot more and also post on my patreon a lot more um i know you guys are asking about like things on the gallery i don't post on the gallery just because all of my bills are cc bills so you're gonna need the cc can't post c well you can post cc bills on the gallery but i don't really see, see the point if you don't have the cc so i personally don't see the point so i will not be posting any of my cc bills on the gallery but if i ever start doing no cc bills those will not be on my patreon those will only be on the gallery but that's if i ever do those which i don't know i might try it it might be a video of me trying like we might try to see if we can decorate and build without using cc that's going to be a challenge because i just don't like the way um ea stuff and max's stuff looks um it's just kind of like not my preferred style but you know this is the year of trying things it's a new year we're gonna try new things um but that's pretty much it for this video this is more like a chatty video talking about updates talking about all the things we're gonna do and yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to doing more things um i might come here on camera too and like you know we can 
decorate the backyards and stuff together i think that would be really really fun um but yeah that's it for me today i'm trying to think if i'm like leaving off anything if i do then i'll probably just talk about it on twitter so you should follow me over there but yeah that's it for me and i will see you guys in my next video bye